What's up guys, Josh here from Ramrods Archery. With the 2023 sponsorship season approaching, a lot of you are gonna be putting in applications to try to get your first sponsorship or add to the sponsorships that you already have. I have been running the Ramrods Archery team for over five years now, and I have seen thousands of applications, a lot of which are very good and some of which are not so good. I wanna give you guys some tips on how to put in a good application and talk about a few things to avoid to help give you a better chance of being successful. So one of the things that I'm looking for when I review applications is I'm looking for strong social media. Strong social media shows me that the archer is going to do a good job of building their own following as well as representing our company and telling people about the products. Good social media I would define as high frequency of posting along with high quality of posting. We're gonna share some tips later on in the video of how you can do this, but generally speaking, I'm looking to see that the archer puts thought into the things that they're posting, they're sharing information, they're engaging with their audience, and they're actually helping other people. They're not just putting up a random photo with a bunch of hashtags at the bottom. They've put a little more thought into it and they've actually tried to make the, the content that they're putting out valuable to more people. Um, number two, I'm looking to see that the athlete is putting themselves out there, that they're interacting with the archery community more often, that they're going to competitions, hopefully some high level competitions, but even if there's not a ton of high level events that they're attending, I still wanna see that they're active even at a local or state level or national level. That stuff is still really important because that shows that they're gonna be out in the field they're having more interactions. They can talk with other people that they don't see on a daily basis about the products. They can answer questions, maybe let other people try the products. That is really nice to see if an athlete is active. Um, and lastly, I wanna see that the archer understands a little bit about our company and our values. If the archer can see um, what we're trying to promote as a company, sharing information, trying to have a lot of positivity, helping other people grow, that shows me that they're gonna be a better fit for the team and it's much more likely that I want to sponsor that athlete. Okay, now let's talk about some of the things to avoid. One of the biggest social media sins that I see in applications to our program is when the athlete only has a private account. Now I totally understand and respect not wanting to put your full personal life out on the internet for everybody to see. But if you're trying to get sponsorships and make a career as an athlete, it's probably a good idea to make a public archery account that you can put only your archery content on and that is your place that you can grow an audience, share information, uh, help other people learn and promote the companies that you're sponsored by. Um, another thing that you wanna look out for is too few or infrequent posts. If you're not posting very often, it's gonna be harder to gain a following and that's gonna limit your value as a pro staff athlete. So you wanna make sure that you keep your frequency up as much as possible. And lastly is a lot of low quality content. Even if the archer's posting a lot and they have a public account, if they're only posting very basic photos with a bunch of hashtags at the end and there's no uh, additional information or context to what they're doing, nothing that's gonna draw in the audience and get engagement, that's not going to be as marketable of an athlete for us to sponsor. Number two is asking for free equipment right away when you don't have any relationship with a company. Um, it's okay to apply for a sponsorship or try to build a relationship with a company when you're still more of an up and coming athlete and maybe you don't have huge name recognition yet and you're just trying to get started and build a foundation. But that may mean that you're getting discounts or um, some other form of sponsorship than direct financial sponsorship or completely free equipment. And that is your opportunity to show the company what you can do for them, how you can market the products and how you're gonna grow as an athlete with them as one of your partners in doing so. Once you are in the door, so to speak, with a company, you have a much better chance of working your way up and having better sponsorship deals with them in the future and with other companies. And lastly, number three, if you don't get sponsored the first time or you don't get a reply when you send in an application, it probably means that you're just not there yet or the company really wasn't interested. 
in that case, that is unfortunate, but I recommend trying to get in touch with the company and see, can they give you info on what could be better? What were they looking for that they didn't see in your social media or your application or whatever interaction you had with the company and try to improve on those things for the future so that you have a better chance the next time or with a, a different company. Um, if they're not able to give you feedback, that's okay. Try to pay attention to what other top archers are doing that have a lot of sponsors and see what type of content are they posting, um, what type of information are they sharing, and that's gonna be a good guide of what to build towards for the future. Now, remember that this is a learning process. You don't have to get it perfect right away. What's important is that you are putting an effort consistently over time and that you're making incremental improvements toward having great social media, performing super well at every competition you go to, etc. Just stay patient and stay consistent. Okay, now, as promised, I'm gonna break down some good and bad social media posts so that you guys can have real world examples of what companies are looking for when you post for them. Number one, we have this photo here that shows a V-bar. I like this post for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's not just repeating a very common type of photo that we see constantly where it's just maybe the bow on the shooting line. It has some unique perspective. It shows the product from different angles. And I really like that there's a little bit of a blend of some information about the product to go along with the marketing. It's not just someone posting and saying, hey, this is a great product, you should buy it. Um, number two, this is one of my favorite type of posts personally. I love seeing these gear layout photos. Um, what I like about this is it showcases all the equipment that the archer is using in a little bit of a different format than we typically see. Um, this is also a really great way if you have multiple sponsors that you can show all of them equally and in a very flattering, um, visually pleasing way and kind of shout out all your sponsors at once, engage with your audience a little bit, ask them what they're using. Um, this is a really solid post. Definitely recommend this format. Um, number three, um, I like this post because it's just an example of, a, of a, a photo you could shoot just when you're out training. You don't have to put in a ton of planning or do a ton of work on this. Just put in the work to find a nice background, bring a tripod or a friend to take a photo for you, um, get yourself in that photo and just kind of show what you're doing, right? We're, we're all out constantly training all the time, many, many hours. Don't be afraid to just use your training time as an opportunity to grab simple, well-composed photos that are gonna look cool on social media and show what you do and show people that you love doing it. Um, number four, this photo I like because it goes back to my earlier point of kind of showing history with a company. Um, this one is from Gabby. She shows her history of starting with a more intermediate or beginner level Hoyt, working all the way up through her competitive career, um, having sponsorships with, a, with Hoyt now, um, one of the more difficult companies to get sponsored by. And I think this just is uh, an inspiration to someone looking to do that, that if you use a company's products, if you stick with it, if you work on your social media, you grow your career, you definitely can have the opportunity to be sponsored by that company in the future. And um, I also like that this post goes into her story and history with the company and she explains a lot of that. And this type of post also got her a lot of engagement, which is very important for social media growth. Um, lastly, we have this post here, um, definitely a lot more of an informative post and probably one that took a lot of effort. This is combining a video that's clipped up and edited, with very detailed information about what this archer is doing in their equipment. Um, I think any time that you really tell more of a story about how you're training or how you're setting up your equipment and you're giving tips that are useful to people, that's super attractive to see as a sponsor because it shows me that you're gonna help other people uh, get better, which is part of our company's mission, but you're also gonna help show people um, potentially how to use our products or set our products up well, which makes our marketing job a whole lot easier. Now lastly, I didn't want to pick on anybody else, so I'm going to use myself as an example here. Um, I'm going to show you some examples of bad social media posts. We're going to go back into my history here. Um, in this first photo here, we have um, very poor lighting. You can barely see my equipment. Um, it's not clear really what this photo is supposed to be about. It's just a picture that I snapped while I was out shooting and just put it up on social media with no effort. Uh, this post is not going to get you sponsors and it's not going to get you a lot of followers either. 
Uh, and number two, um, here is a, a very ugly Vegas post of my hotel room floor with my equipment kind of thrown up against the bed. Uh, this is not an attractive photo to look at. It doesn't give any information or context to what the photo is. Um, and I would definitely recommend if you want to take a photo at Vegas, do it where they've set up those photo opportunities, get a photo of yourself shooting or maybe walking around the trade show. That's going to be a whole lot more interesting. So to recap, if you're looking to get sponsored, make sure that you have good social media, you're putting yourself out there and being part of the archery community, going to competitions, and that you understand what the company is looking for and what their values are that you're applying to. Try to take some lessons from some of the posts that we shared and just remember that these things take time to get better at. It isn't something that happens overnight and most of those athletes you see that have 10 sponsors have been at this for a very, very long time and they've put a lot of effort in to grow those skills. Social media is a huge skill in and of itself and practice makes perfect. Put in some consistent effort and work on it and you will get better over time. Um, thank you for watching. I hope that that has been helpful. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any future videos and tips on these and other topics. And I will see you guys next time.